Hi, we're looking at the Fairy Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. We're going to have a quick look through the cards and um, see what they're all about and see how beautiful they are. They are not a new deck. I definitely have used this deck time and time again, but they are so beautiful um, that I thought I would do a walkthrough. I've never done a walkthrough of it. So this is the Fairy uh, Tarot Cards Guidebook. And in the book, there is, there's a couple of little spreads. There's a nice uh, index page. And there's a good write-up on each of the cards with a black and white picture, okay? So it's a pretty meaty little book, um, but it gives you um, a good idea, okay? So it gives you a good idea where to start with them. And, you know, and it gives you uh, Radley's interpretation, right? So that's really nice to have. So, going to get the cards, and we're just going to do, like I said, a little walkthrough, okay? So, um, this starts with the Fool. Of course, in his deck, um, it's called the Dreamer. So, um, at the bottom, there is a descriptive kind of a uh, couple of little sentences like this one says embrace your true purpose begin a new adventure trust yourself okay so they all have something on them, right so there's the dreamer oh the back of the deck is gorgeous so have a look at the back of the deck um it's just absolutely gorgeous and then we have the magician you can do anything and there's more but i'll just give you a little descriptive okay and then the High Priestess says, trusting your intuition. The Empress, time to take action. The Emperor, let's see if we can get this a little closer. Um, use logic and structure to increase your success. Unity, do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see what, which works for you. Then we have the lovers. True love is long-lasting. Choices made from the heart. So we have the chariot, which is number seven. Justice. Time to time, um, Take time to review the details carefully. The hermit. Find or be a mentor. This is really nice. And it's not gender specific. Like the hermit in this deck um, is female. You know, um, a lot of decks um, show it as male. So this deck is very diversified um, in that way. Okay. So delays are over with the wheel. Strength. Awakening, change the way you're looking at the situation. This would be the hanged man in many decks. Release, let go of the past. Balance, take everyone's input into consideration. Ego, the illusion of being trapped. Placing too much importance on material items. So ego is the devil in most decks, right? Life experience. The tower. The star. Looking to the future with hope and optimism. The moon. The sun. I just love this card. This card, I love the sun in every deck, but this is really exquisite. You know, plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, and gratitude for the blessings of life. I really, really like it. Renewal. Review the past and present so you can plan a bright new future. And then the world. A brilliant success. That's my cats running around, if you hear them. I apologize. <laughs> so then we have 
Um, spring in this deck. Um, spring is wands in most other decks, okay? So they have it by season. Um, so they have spring, um, summer, autumn, and winter. And this is wands. Spring is wands. So time to take action, of course, right? Beautiful card. Two of spring. It's just so nice. You know, like, the cards are very, um, uh, right away, um, you know, they, they're very much right away Smith, but they're also, they give you a little bit to play with too, um, especially if you like fairies, right? And if you like nature, so yeah. So three of spring, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous there. And then the four of spring. Be grateful, right? You have much to celebrate in the castle and the distance. And yeah, it just, it speaks volumes, right? Um, opposing goals arising from differing opinions. So very nice, the five of spring. Six of spring. Wonderful news is on its way. Seven of spring. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe in, you know? So these are really nice. And I think that the um, descriptions are very, to me, very accurate and very, um, very believable and very much speaks in the cards, okay? So this is the Eight of Springs. Beautiful again, right? The Nine of Springs. Ten of Springs, Princess of Springs. Now the princesses in here are like a page, right? So this is the Princess of Spring. And this has keywords as well as a description. So really, really nice. And the Prince of Spring. So charming, self-confident, passionate, restless, you know, and then it tells you more on the bottom, right? So yeah, very, very nice. And then the Queen of Spring and the King of Spring. So yeah, it's really, really um, very well done, I think. And then Summer. Summers are blue. Um, the wands were red, they were red cards or burgundy. These are blue, uh, blue border, and these are summer. So this would be um, cups in most decks, okay? So we have the Ace of Summer, open your heart to love. Of course, that's how it begins, right? And then we have the Two of Summer, falling in love or making a serious commitment. Three of Summer, newsworthy, worth celebrating. So very much a celebration card. Four of summer. Um, being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity. So, you know, not seeing what's in front of you, boredom, stuff like that, right? So yeah. Um, five of summer. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. And generally speaking, I like that. <laughs> Six of summer. Um, children or childhood, um, people, resources from your past, you know, um, this has different ideas than what I think about this card, um, children or childhood, yes, I do think it has to do with family, but not necessarily for me, the six of summer or six of cups is, is about family, not necessarily childhood, okay, but you know, it's still a beautiful card and it, it works beautifully, okay? So, seven of summer. Eight of summer. I love this. You know, um, you know, looking for something new, right? Major life change, right? Walking away. Yeah, very beautiful. Nine of summer. You know, it's just a magical card, right? And it just shows that. Ten of Summer, just gorgeous, right? This one has a lot of detail. Some of these cards have a lot of detail. 
that you won't be able to see unless you, you know, really, really um, get up close, right? So yeah. And then we have the Princess of Summer. And this is the back of the card as well. So this card here, right? Uh, gentle, sensitive, kind, inexperienced, you know? So yeah, a new relationship or emotional experience, stuff now. Yeah. So it's beautiful, right? The Prince of Summer. Again, just a gorgeous card. I think this works well when I hold it up for you guys. Um, maybe, or maybe, you know, here's the Queen of Summer. So the Queen of Summer is absolutely beautiful. And the King of Summer. So yeah, so honorable, devoted, mature, heartwarming, and not necessarily has to be male energy, okay? It can definitely be female, all right? So then we go into autumn. So autumn is her, okay? So would be pentacles. So ace of autumn. So, you know, um, a windfall of money, or opportunity, success anyway, right? A new opportunity for success. Then the two of autumn. So, yeah, so this is beautiful as well. Three of autumn. The four of autumn. No. Five of autumn. This one, um, you usually generally see someone desperate, not like, you know, like this person here, this fairy here, and someone helping them out, right? Often this picture is, this card is depicted in front of a church or something like that, where people are very much needing assistance, right? So this is the same thing. Reach out to others for assistance, you know, stuff like that, right? So yeah, six of the bottom. Beautiful card as well. Um, seven of autumn, very, very cute. It's really lovely. And this is the Eight of Autumn. Very nice. Do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships. Nine of Autumn. Very traditional meanings, right? Ten of Autumn. This one is very um, busy card. It's a very busy card and it's got lots going on, but I do love it. And it just, you know, everything being just wonderful, right? And, um, you know, family traditions and home, everything like that. Princess of Autumn. And then we have the Prince of Autumn. The Queen of Autumn. Very lovely card. The King of Autumn. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. You know, everything's going your way. A good person or company to work for. So yeah, very lovely. And then we have uh, Winter, which is um, the Air, which is the Swords, okay? So we have the Ace of Winter. Two of winter. Then we have the three of winter. It says here too, you will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal with time. You know, it's not always um, um, broken love. It can be other things in your life, right? So, four of winter. Five of winter. Very, very nice. You know, and it just makes a point of, you know, don't get involved in, in um, squabbles. Walk away from them if you can. Use your head, not your brawn strength, right? Six of winter. Seven of winter. 
better choices. I like that. Eight of winter. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. So true, right? Nine of winter. Unfounded fear. Hmm. Ten of winter. The resolution of difficulties. An end of an addiction or a dependency. So almost freedom, right? You're getting rid of something. You're freeing yourself. Then we have the princess. And the prince. Intellectual, determined, focused. The queen. Strong, patient, self-sufficient. And they have funny here. I don't really see that much with the Queen of Winter, the Queen of Swords. I don't think I've ever seen funny as one of the key words. This is the one deck that I see that in. And um, yeah, so that's different. That's for sure, right? So yeah. So King of Winter. Knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional right so yeah so these cards are absolutely beautiful you know they're gilded they're they're just gorgeous i've had them for a long time i absolutely love them and if you feel the same way please go get yours um blessings my dear we will definitely see you soon